Oh, well, don't try to flex on me, it's impossible. Send Pi confident in everything you do. Big mood, big, big mood. Hand size, get it, we on sight. What's good, y'all? DMD does it here. Today I'm coming at y'all on how to make the best finisher badge in NBA 2K21. Now, before we jump into this build, look at this. Look at this. I forgot. I got. I forgot to say it. I put it there, but I forgot to say it. But so many people of my viewers, uh, y'all not subscribed. So just do me a favor. Just go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe for me. I'd appreciate it. It'll help the channel. Click the like button. Now let's move forward. So this is my finisher from 2K20. I enjoyed this build a lot. And I wanted to remake it because yeah, it looked like 2K had messed over big men again. Or at least athletic big men again. If you haven't watched any of my previous content on 2K17, 18, 19, I had a 7 foot athletic finisher and he was amazing. Those builds was amazing. But this is what I got to deal with. I got I have a 6 foot 9 defensive and finishing pie chart finisher and I enjoy this build a lot. As I mentioned, I went with the defensive and finishing pie chart. I used a vertical, physical, and I used a max weight, but like I think five or four down from the max weight and one down away from the max wingspan. And I got these results. This build became my primary build on 2K20, so it's only right if I make this build for 2K21. So this build is six foot nine with 50 badges yes 50 of them things now i tried two times on the demo the 2k21 demo and i did i was not happy with the, that i wasn't happy with the attributes i wasn't i tried to make this build again on small forward and it was not the move for me so what i tried to do was go for shooting guard made him six foot nine as well so of course i went with the finishing and defensive pie chart and for the physical i went with the vertical pie chart as i did for 2k20 now we're getting into the fun part the attributes now i maxed out my close shot i maxed out my driving layup maxed out the driving dunk and the standard dunk but i took a few notches off so i could just only have 22. now after I do my finishing, I automatically go straight to my defense. So I'm maxing everything out here. Of course, I try to be a little cheeky to try to just get it to just 22. But anytime I try to deduct a little attribute for any category, it went down to 21. So everything for defensive is completely maxed. And so far, we have 22 finishing, 22 defensive, and rebounding badges. For the 2K20 version, it was... 19 and 22 now over to the playmaking i maxed out my pass accuracy and my ball handle and i'm left with 20 more attributes and i went ahead and put that to my mid range that was nothing else i wanted i don't want i don't need that many playmaking badges in my opinion i had eight on 2k20 and i was satisfied with that and with the jump shot creator being off rip i'll be able to have a jump shot and i'm gonna smack that one shooting badges to catch and shoot of course i made it six foot nine the physicals on 2k20 was better but being able to have that little mid range i'll i'll take it i'll completely take it so with the weight the strength was kind of scaring me a little bit but i had to max out my weight so i could get that 79 interior defense and hopefully most likely that we will be getting the extra um attribute points when we hit 99 overall so i went max wingspan i woke 2k messed up at it's maxing the wingspan now it gave me some more driving don't close shot and standing don't and what is really hurting what my shooting it's not even hurting my ball handle and i was satisfied with that and it it, it boosted my finishing and it boosted my defense and that's all i need and we got us a finisher of course i went with the slasher takeover with shades of clyde drexler zash levine and luka Doncic. Yeah, I looked up how to say his name so I didn't butcher it. Now, I want to look at the 2K20 finisher and the 2K21 finisher. And the physicals may not be the best, but the badges and the attributes is it's looking promising in my opinion. This is how I'm going to be laying out my badges so I can test my potential. And I I think I'm, I'm satisfied with this. At first, I had 18 on my other finisher, and now I have 22 to work with. 
and also 22, the same 22 on for defense. Now, this might change. This may, this may or may not change. I highly doubt it. Like I said, I'm going to put that one shooting badge to catch and shoot. I'm pretty much laying out all my badges the way I did for my, my finish on 2K20. And I'm just hoping for when this game drop, I'm going to enjoy it. But that's my take on making my finisher build. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to remember, don't stop, keep grinding. Okay, bye.